Hi everyone, well, welcome to Catherine's Plate. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, I'd like to welcome you to my show today. And I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification. And you'll always know when my shows are posted. Today I am making cinnamon rolls. Not just any cinnamon rolls. I'm going to be doing a copycat Cinnabon version. These are so good, y'all. I promise you, they will be easy to make also. Simple ingredients, easy recipe, just takes a little bit of time for setup, but hey, they are so worth it. So if you're ready, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go over the ingredients that we are going to need to make our copycat Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. Flour, regular granulated white sugar. We got brown sugar and confectioner's sugar. We've got ground cinnamon, butter, eggs, salt, vanilla, one package of active dry yeast, milk, and some cream cheese. All right, as we're building our cinnamon rolls, I will be telling you how much of everything we're gonna be needing as we're going. Because as it is right now, we're gonna be using the butter in several of the segments, so I didn't wanna split it all out right now. All right, y'all, let's get going. All right, so the first step we're going to do is get our milk warm enough to activate yeast with. Now, I've put one cup of milk in the microwave and I've warmed it up. Now, anywhere between 105 and 110 is a good temperature to get yeast to activate. All right, so I'm at the right temperature right now, so we're gonna go ahead and start putting our yeast in here and mix it up and set that off to the side while we get our rest of our ingredients ready. And we're just gonna give it a light mix. All right, so in my mixing bowl, I'm going to place half a cup of sugar, one third cup of softened butter, one teaspoon of salt, and two eggs. We're gonna go ahead now and mix this until it's all well combined. All right, now what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and add our yeast milk mixture. And we're gonna mix that. We're gonna go ahead now and switch out our hooks. And we're gonna start incorporating four cups of flour. One. All right. There's our third cup. What we're going to do is take our dough out of the bowl here. We're going to place it in our oiled bowl, which I have right here. Now, what I'm going to do is cover this with a towel that I have right here. We're going to put it in a nice warm place for one hour. And what we want it to do is double in size. All right, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, so my dough is almost completely risen. So I've got a, just a medium small bowl here and my hand mixer. And we're gonna go ahead now and start making the filling. So I've got one third cup of softened butter that's gonna go into my bowl here. Get all that out of there. To that, I'm going to add one full cup of brown sugar and now this is a preference so i've got two tablespoons of cinnamon here now if you want to use more you can or you can use less it's up to you so we're going to go ahead and add that then we're going to go ahead and mix this together until it's well combined all right now it's time to work with our dough 
So I've pulled my dough out of, I had it in the microwave, y'all, waiting for about an hour, right? Now you can see that it is risen, which is what we were looking for. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Now I've got some flour here. We're gonna lightly spread some on here on our work surface. And just kind of roll it around a little bit. We're gonna take our dough here. We're gonna roll it right onto our counter here. Knead the dough for a few minutes. Oh, that's looking really good, y'all. It's not sticky, which is what we were looking for. So we're gonna keep rolling this. This dough is really coming together. We're just gonna kind of make a circle with it right now. Rolling pin, and we're going to flour it. And then we're gonna start rolling our dough here. We want our edges to be straight. All right, let's measure and see what we got. We're looking about, you know, 12 by 18. So we're at 18 there, and let's go into 12 here, and we got 12 there. And then we should have about a quarter inch along the edges here. All right, y'all, boom, we're ready to go. All right, so bring over your crumb mixture, the brown sugar, the butter, and the cinnamon spread here. And we're just going to kind of spread it. All right, we're just going to try to get it on here evenly. All right, so I'm just going to take a spatula here, and I'm just going to kind of smear on all that goodness, right? Now what we're going to do is start on the bottom long edge, and we're going to take it, and we're going to start rolling it. All right, a tight roll. Just what we were looking for right there. So the dishes that you're going to make it in, you want to go ahead and butter. Now I'm using a 13 by 9 baking dish and I'm just taking a stick of butter, just the end piece of butter that I was using, and I'm just going to coat the bottom and the sides with it. Now you can use whatever you want to use. If you want to just lightly spray it with some cooking spray, that's fine too. So I'm using a scraper here, and that's what I'm going to use to cut my cinnamon rolls. Now I'm looking to go about one and a half inches, just like that. Then I'm going to place it into my bowl here. Now when you're cutting, cut fast, all right? Like that. That's the end with nothing in it, so we'll just leave that off to the side. Okay, so I've wrapped a damp towel around my baking dish here, and I'm going to let it rest for 30 minutes, and then it's going to rise again, and then we're going to put them in the oven. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I've taken the towel off of my cinnamon rolls that were resting for about 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead now and put these in my preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Keep an eye on them at the end and make sure they don't overbrown. We'll be right back. Okay, so my rolls are about halfway done in the oven. We're going to go ahead now and start making the glaze. Now, in a medium bowl, I have six tablespoons of softened butter, and then I'm going to add one quarter cup of cream cheese. Now, this is very softened cream cheese. Eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're going to add one and a half cups of some powdered sugar. That's it right there. So we're going to go ahead and take our hand mixer here and mix it all together very well. All right. I'm going to give it a try. Mmm, that is so delicious. Bring on the rolls. All right, y'all, how beautiful do those look? Yum. All right, I'm ready to glaze these up. While these are still warm, we're going to go ahead and ice them. They look so wonderful. All right. Which one do y'all want? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I can give these away, though. <laughs> My family might have a say about that. Do yourselves a favor, make these. I'm not gonna pick this thing up without a towel. <laughs> not doing that. 
Alright, be careful with this and bring it up to you. Alright, does that look good, y'all? Mm. Which one do you want? I'm going front and center. I think this was the one I said I was going to have. <laughs> They're all delicious looking. Alright, what do y'all think? Oh my god, it's so worth it, y'all. If you want your house to smell amazing, make these because I'm telling you what, you can smell these outside. <laughs> I'm gonna take a bite. Oh my gosh. Copycat Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. I'm not kidding, y'all. It costs hardly anything to make these. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment down below what you think, and if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification. You'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, I'm gonna let you go because I know somebody's gonna wanna make these.